Hey guys, hi and hello. Welcome back to my channel, Divide and Conquer with Radha, and this is Radha here. Great to have you all back again. So today's topic of discussion is going to be proportion, and we are going to learn what is proportion. When do we say the given numbers are in proportion, and we are also going to learn how do we check if the given numbers are in proportion. So we'll be solving these four sums. What is proportion? Proportion is a statement stating that two ratios are equal. We can write proportion in two different ways. Let's say A, B, C, D are four different numbers. Then we can write it as A by B is equal to C by D. Or by using colon, we can write it as A is to B is equal to C is to D. Now, how do we check if the given numbers are in proportion? It's done using two methods. One is by comparing the ratios. Second method is by using the cross product method. Let me explain these two methods with an example. Now we have four different numbers: twenty, eighteen, five, and six. We need to check if the given numbers are in proportion. There are two methods by which we can check if the given numbers are in proportion. Method one is by comparing the given sets of ratios, and method two is by cross product method. Now twenty. Is to 18 and 5 is to 6. We are going to compare these two sets of ratios. Now 20 is to 18. When I reduce to lowest terms, I get 10 by 9. I have divided 20 and 18 by a common factor 2, so I get 10 by 9. And 5 is to 6 is already is in the simplest form. So now 10 by 9 is it equal to 5 by 6? No. Or we can say 10 is to 9 is not equal to 5 is to 6. Therefore, the given numbers twenty, eighteen, five, and six are not in proportion. The same numbers we are going to check if they are in proportion by using method two, that is a cross product method. That is, product of means is equal to product of extremes, or product of extremes is equal to product of means. Okay, we have taken the same numbers twenty, eighteen, five, and six. So here, twenty is the first term. 18 is the second term, 5 is the third term, and 6 is the fourth term. Now the extremes are the numbers that are placed in the first and the fourth position. That is, 20 and 6 fall under the extreme category. The first and the fourth term are termed as extremes, and the second and the third term are termed as means. So, cross product method we need to prove that product of means is equal to product of extremes or product of extremes is equal to product of means so product of means that is 18 into 5 which is equal to 90 and product of extremes which is 20 into 6 equal to 120 so it's very clear that 90 is not equal to 120 therefore the given numbers 20 18 5 and 6 are not in proportion so you can use any of these methods to check if the given numbers are in proportion but the most commonly used method is the method 2 checking if product of means is equal to product of extremes or vice versa the very first question that we have is 30 40 45 and 60 we need to check if the given numbers are in proportion only for the first sum i am going to solve using both the methods for your understanding but the most commonly used method is the method 2 the first method By comparing their ratios, 30 is to 40 is equal to 45 is to 60. Now let's reduce the first set of ratio that is 30 is to 40. The zeros can be cancelled, so we have 3 by 4, which is 3 is to 4, and 45 by 60. You can divide it using 15 directly, or you can use 5 also because 5 is a common factor that divides both 45 and 60. But I have used 15 because Both 45 and 60 are directly divisible by 15. 15 times 3 is 45, and 15 times 4 is 60. So we get 3 is to 4. Now, both the set of ratios we get the same simplest form that is 3 is to 4. So we say 30, 40, 45, and 60 are in proportion. Now let's check if they are in proportion using method two. That is by checking if the product of extremes is equal to product of means or vice versa. Now here, 30 and 40 are uh, are the first and the second term. 45 and 60 are the third and the fourth term. 
Now, product of extremes is the product of the first and the fourth term. So, 30 into 60. And product of means is the product of the second and the third term. That is 40 into 45. 30 into 60 gives 1800 and 40 into 45 also gives 1800. Therefore, the numbers 30, 40, 45 and 60 are in proportion. I hope it's clear. You can use any method. Check if the given numbers 2, 2 and a half, 3, 3 and a half are in proportion or not. This is similar to the previous sum but the only difference is that we have a combo of whole numbers and mixed fractions. So first we need to convert the mixed fraction into improper form and then check if the given numbers are in proportion. So 2 1 by 2 when converted into improper we have 5 by 2 that is 2 2 is a 4 plus 1 that is 5 by 2 and 3 1 by 2 is equal to 7 by 2. 3 2 is a 6 plus 1 so 7 by 2. So the four numbers are 2 5 by 2 3 and 7 by 2. To check if the given numbers are in proportion the product of extreme should be equal to the product of means. So to find the product of extremes, we need to multiply the first term and the fourth term. So 2 into 7 by 2. 2 and 2 gets cancelled, so we get 7. And to find the product of means, we need to multiply the second term and the third term. So 5 by 2 into 3, which is 15 by 2. Convert it into decimal form, we get 7.5. So product of extreme is 7 and product of means is 7.5. They are not equal. Since the product of extremes is not equal to product of means, the given numbers 2, 2, 1 by 2, 3 and 3, 1 by 2 are not in proportion. The final step is very important with respect to the question. We need to frame and write whether the given numbers are in proportion or not. Check if 0 0.8, 3, 2.4 and 9 are in proportion or not. This sum is a combo of whole numbers and decimals. But the concept remains the same. To check if the given numbers are in proportion, we need to prove that product of extremes is equal to product of means or product of means is equal to product of extremes. So product of extremes is the first term multiplied with the fourth term. So we get 0 0.8 into 9 is equal to 7.2. And product of means is the second term multiplied by the third term. So 3 into 2.4 is equal to 7.2. So product of extremes is equal to product of means. So the given numbers are in proportion. How do we write the final answer step? Therefore, the numbers 0 0.8, 3, 2.4 and 9 are in proportion. Check if 1 by 5, 1 by 8, 1 by 4 and 1 by 10 are in proportion or not. All the four numbers are in fractional form. So the concept will not change. It will still be the same. So we need to check if product of extremes is equal to product of means. If they are equal, then we prove that the given numbers are in proportion. First, let's do the product of extremes. Product of extremes is the first term multiplied by the fourth term. So we have 1 by 5 into 1 by 10, which is equal to 1 by 50. And product of means is the second term multiplied by the third term. So 1 by 8 into 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 32. So 1 by 50 is not equal to 1 by 32. Therefore, product of means is not equal to product of extremes or product of extremes is not equal to product of means. Therefore, the given numbers are not in proportion. The final answer step has to be written with, with respect to the question. So the numbers 1 by 5, 1 by 8, 1 by 4 and 1 by 10 are not in proportion. Feel free to post your comment and queries in the comment section. We'll certainly try and respond. Remember, learning never exhausts the mind. Keep learning. Looking forward to meeting up with you all in my next video. If you like my videos, please do like, share and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.